So here I am in Ohio Pile, Pennsylvania. We're getting ready to get on our shuttle to go to the Laurel Highlands Trail. Shuttle's late again. <laughs> Seems like the shuttles are always late, huh? I haven't run any rivers up there. I haven't spent much time on the West Coast. I want. <laughs> so what's the name of the river again? Yakagini. Yakagini River. August 14, 2014. Good morning. So we're just uh, me and uh, Attila are just now starting our uh, little journey here on the Laurel Highlands Trail. We got about 46 miles. It is kind of cold for uh, August. Kind of cold. I mean, below 50. Cold. So anyway, it's rained here recently, which is good. Lots of water. Take a look. We get to see plenty. Big rocks in Pennsylvania. It's always been a rocky state. They call it the Keystone State. Here's our first mile marker. Mile marker number 45, we're going to zero. Lots of ferns here. Check it out, all kinds of ferns. And as I said before, it's rocky. <laughs> Yep, Rocky. Well, the trail hasn't changed a whole lot. Lots of rocks, lots of ferns, <laughs> almost tripped. Chicken of the woods. Mm, pretty in here. The hemlocks. Nice. And we're walking through the hemlocks. It's all hemlocky. Yeah. Attila is checking the map. Beam rock. Yeah. I'm gonna go up high, maybe try it. But don't be an ass like old Thomas here and put stuff all over it. I don't care if they're marijuana leaves or whatever. It's kind of trashed out. Coming up to the top of Beam Rock Overlook here. There's an old dirty t-shirt. And Marco makes the jump that I cannot make. All I'll do is fall back. I gotta go another way. And here we are, Beam Rocks. And we're looking for some water. <laughs> Try not to fall. Lots of rocks. Not bad. Just a lot of rocks. Here's one of our first Adirondack style shelter on the Laurel Highlands Trail. You know, got full board siding there. Okay. Yeah, it's uh, that's what it is. Okay, very nice. So where's the water? We think the water's down there. Bathrooms! Half a mile off the trail, and here's some bathrooms. Women, men, another shelter. And it looks like a water pump. Which is what I'm gonna do is go get me some water. I'm sure it says it's not potable. 
lo and behold, here's the water I got out of that well. Doesn't that look good? I've taken out of ponds, it's been cleaner looking. Here's this bridge that's going over. Marco says it's 76. It says Laurel Highlands Trail right on it. Check that out, huh? Brand new. Here comes mile marker number 36. That's right, that makes nine miles for us and it is 347. I feel like I got two more miles in me. How about you, Attila? Tilla, last night we were kind of worried because we saw some guy in blue down there by the creek and he stayed there for like ever and just moved around a little bit and so we didn't know what he was doing and he turned out to be who or what yeah, uh, <laughs> okay it was a balloon Good morning so it's Friday uh, August 15th about nine 20. We're just getting out of camp. Uh, slept pretty good last night. Got pretty cold. Got below 50. I mean, that ain't cold, but it's cold for what we're, you know, it's cold for August. Uh, let's see what today should bring us the highest point on the uh, Laurel Highlands Trail. Looking forward to that. Coming up on another shelter house. This one looks pretty nice. Uh, it looks like enough to me to suspect it's private property. This is the rest station. So this is where you come to rest, I guess, when you're snowshoeing or snowmobiling. Got a little, got some wood. Whoa, talk about nice, huh? Oh. Oh my gosh. Is that primo or what? There you go, it's even got a freaking wood stove in it. So now we know you have a blue balloon phobia. It's interesting. Well, we're coming up on Highway 31. Uh, that would put us about what? Awful close to mile marker 31. How convenient. We're in Westmoreland County, Dongle Township. <laughs> okay, Dongle. It says Dongle, sort of guy. Hemlocks. <laughs> what a beautiful day, too. You can't beat the weather. It's a nice breeze. It is. Got to be below 55. The trail is much more hilly now, and things are beginning to change. That's good, we were getting sort of bored. Mall marker 29. So we started at 33.5, so that's four and a half miles, yeah, it is. to the rules, you are not allowed to camp in any place but the shelters on the Laurel Highlands Trail yet. This would be the second one of these we have passed. Let's check this out. It looks like a spring house. Or maybe it is a shelter. Well, if it is, it's an old one. <laughs> one that... <laughs> not really sure what it is. Hello? It's a spring house. We are at 
at Seven Springs Riding Stable slash uh, Ski Resort, which is like very close to the highest point of the trail. We're about at 2,700 foot. We're gonna go up to the top of this and top out about 2,950. Up the trail takes us right through the freaking ski resort. I mean, right through it. See, well, we're passing by a sporting clays range. There, there's one of the prettier streams we've crossed so far. You can still hear the sporting clays guys in the background giving it hell. We come pretty close. <laughs> But the sign said we was safe. Been a whole hour since we uh, saw that sign that says Sporting Clays. And listen, <laughs> we can still hear them. It's a big Sporting Clays range. Oh, the size of these ferns, huge ferns. They really are, they're three foot tall. Actually, some of them are more than that, some of them four. Mile marker number 24. That gives us four more miles. <laughs> and now, a moment with Mr. B. miles to camp. We're gonna go to mile marker 20. At least that's the idea. Still rocky, 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 rocky. Goes a long ways. Oh, quite possibly a scenic overlook. We only like to come on a couple. Let's take a look. Oh, it is. Marker 21, one mile till camp. Oh, I'm ready for it. That ought to make us 13.5 miles today and 26.5 miles total for the trip. I don't often take pictures of plants, but look at this one. It's got a flat stem. <laughs> like, a, uh, it's very pretty. I don't even know what it is. Maybe somebody can tell me.
Attila, so this is your new tent. What kind of tent is this, sir? Mm -hmm. uh, what kind of tent is it? Uh, okay, now, it's a Cuban fiber tent. Mm -hmm. Right, ah, it is. Okay, very good. Are you happy with it? Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, it's 9 a.m. on the 16th of August, 2014. We're out of camp. Uh, got a flat day ahead. Not a lot of changes in elevation, but uh, I'd like to get some decent mileage. Mile marker 19. Well, we are right at uh, mile 19.25 or actually 18.75 and this looks like a Civil War soldier's graveyard to me can't read anything on any of the stones A waterfall really honest to God check it out <laughs> there's your waterfall enjoy Hey, little trail condition report so far. We've only crossed like two blowdowns in 30 some odd miles. And the water situation between 20, mile marker 20, and mile marker 16 is really good. Lots of water. Always a good thing. Beautiful day. And what do you know, it's mile marker number 16. That puts us a little under three and a half miles today and about 31.5 miles for the entire trip. Okay. Logging, huh. well, I guess I shouldn't be surprised. It's a pretty big cut so far. I'd say mm, 100 acres or more. We're close to like 14 and a half, mile 14 and a half, and there's a lake. Oh boy. You saw it. It is mostly, it is pretty shallow and marshy, and that's about it. It's a duck pond.
mile marker number 10. That makes 10 miles for us already today and it's only 2.30. <laughs> a canyon. Kind of canyony anyway, isn't it? Just a little bit, maybe? Coming up on an overlook here, we're at mile seven and a half. Uh, we just passed a day hiker and he said that we should come out here and check it out, so we are. Okay, so there's a rattlesnake right down there. Now, all I can see is I'm going to zoom in on him. That's enough for me to see. <laughs> if you want me to get any closer, get always moving. Mile marker number seven. All right, seven. is like what goes up to seven we're going down it to six <laughs> it's pretty much straight up and down there's not a lot of switchbacks on this trail right here still going down uh, we were at 2700 now we're at 1600 and we are still going down so it's quite a big climb out of uh out of ohio pie shelters actually we're heading down to cool run so from cool run all the way up to marker number uh eight i believe it was Pretty, pretty steep. Cool Run Creek, right about mile six. Yeah, one of the best we've seen so far. Morning, it's Sunday, August 17, 2014, and this is where we spent our night last night our saturday night uh i went to bed at nine o'clock and slept till 6 30 and had a dream that marco's tent was on fire so uh anyway we did about 14 miles yesterday mile marker number six is right down there and so we're gonna walk the rest of the way in six miles into ohio pile hopefully we'll get there around lunch uh, though they say this is the most strenuous part of the trip Let's see. Hasn't been very strenuous so far. And here I thought I was going to get some views up here. Ah, uh, we're socked in. No views. Climb up the trail. Big climb between uh, six and four and a half. Foggy. Yeah, man, it's foggy up here. About right. Well. Anyway, we're going down, descending now. As a matter of fact, I got so much fog, I had to get my glasses off. Looks like there's a mile marker up here, and I'm gonna guess it's number four. Let's take a look here. Yep, it's number four. Four miles to the car. Uh, that would be 41.6 miles in total for me and Attila. Well, I believe I'm starting my final descent here.
still descending, very steep, very rugged. Only two miles to the car, or less. Yeah, or less. Mile marker one, one mile to the car. Yeah, hear the train? Yeah, well, here we are. I think I'm done, 46.5 miles on the Laurel Highland Trail. <laughs> Ohio pile, and there's food right over there. Let's go get something to eat. Oh yeah, hopefully I can still find my car keys. Kind of lost them. Ooh, I'm getting car sick, dude. Already? Slow down a little bit. <laughs>